Hi and welcome to this uh, Photoshop tutorial on how to create a uh, Photoshop uh, rubber stamp brush. We're going to create a brush just like we see the one uh, on this here, uh, the side of this crate right here. And I'm going to show you how to do that in uh, Photoshop CS5. However, you can do this with CS3, 4, 5, or 6. First thing we're going to do is go to File, New. We're going to create a new document. Here I'm uh, starting with an 8 inch by 10 inch 300 DPI. Uh, document. Go ahead and click OK. I like to start with a larger resolution because uh, I tend to use um, higher resolution uh, rubber stamps or brushes for my uh, photo work. Next thing we're going to do is come over here to the left, click the uh, Type tool, and just uh, click on our canvas and start typing uh, the word Fragile. Notice I'm using Arial Black. Uh, it's a good uh, sans serif font, bold and strong for this type of uh, brush. I'm going to grab the corners of my uh, anchor box there, click and hold down my shift key and drag so it drags and increases uh, in size proportionately. Going to kind of fit that to the uh, the screen there. I'm going to select the color red here. Just uh, You can select any color you want, not necessarily for the uh, font, but uh, I'm going to create a background. So I grab the shape tool, the rectangular shape tool, click and drag. I'm going to make a box just right uh, about the size of that fragile uh, text and I'm gonna drag that beneath the fragile text in my layers uh, palette there or window let's resize that okay I'm gonna turn off my um, fragile or my text uh, layer come up to layer I'm gonna come down to rasterize I'm gonna rasterize the shape of my rectangular box that I just drew and um, I'm going to hold down the command, click in order to uh, get my marching ants, and then come up to select, modify, contract. Uh, what I'm doing is creating the uh, frame. And I uh, like a thicker box, so I'm using 20 pixels. So I typed in 20 into the box there, hit OK, and it's going to contract uh, my dancing ants, or my marching ants, down to about 20 pixels. And then I'm going to hit the delete key and it clears out the space and there you have your uh, your box turn on my uh, fragile um, type I'm gonna shift hold both layers and then command E to con uh, combine them both so I have both the box and the type on one layer again command select on the layer in order to um, select it and then create a new layer and then what I'm going to do is come over here and uh, change my color to black. And let's see. Going to grab my brush tool. Going to select uh, my spatter brush. Making sure my shape dynamics and uh, it's turned on there. Notice I'm on a brand new layer here. I'm going to click and just kind of spray paint around. Just kind of creating the uh, the rubber stamp effect, if you will. Come over to my brush tips shape. bar and change the size a little bit so I can get inside there. Just kind of add some final touches to it. That looks pretty good to me. Maybe right over here a little bit. So what I'm doing is creating kind of like a faded brush as though the uh, the rubber on the uh, brush or the stamp itself was kind of uh, rotted away. I'm going to grab my marquee tool, click just outside of my box, and I'm going to kind of highlight the shape. Oops. I'm going to highlight the shape there. What I'm going to do is crop my uh, canvas down to size now. So I've uh, selected a marquee tool around the fragile stamp. Going to go image, crop, and it uh, crops the box. And what I'm going to do right now is going to go down to edit or the edit menu and drop down to define brush preset. And I'm going to type in, I'm going to get a dialog box asking by the brush name, and I'm going to type in fragile brush. Or you can call it whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Mine's fragile brush. Click OK. And then uh, select your brush. Uh, palette window and your brushes and you'll be able to scroll through here let's see 
and you can barely see there's my uh, there's my fragile brush. You'll be able to see it once I move off uh, the window here. There it is, and you can see the uh, the brush itself. Now I'm gonna go ahead and grab my uh, little stock art there, the crate, and oops, I still have the old brush on there. Turn off that layer. I'm gonna select my foreground color to black. Create a new layer, and I've already angled my brush. Let's see, stamp on it. Uh, it looks a little light. Let's uh, redo that. There we go. I'm going to come over here down to uh, my blend modes, click multiply, and then I'm going to change my opacity, drop it down just a little bit. So it looks a little faded there. That's good. And then uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, select my foreground color. I'm going to select red. Turn off that layer. And boom. There it is. If you uh, have any questions, uh, as usual, go ahead and feel free to leave a comment uh, on the uh, comments page, and uh, I will do my best to answer it. Again, thanks for watching.